There's snow. I've seen it a couple times out there, but we do have some wet roads out there this morning. You saw there, and here in downtown, a little bit of some light rain, but otherwise some cloudy sky from our BJZZ camera around the area of the western part of the state. That's what's dealing with the better part of the wet weather as we start off our day today. So we're going to continue looking at that uh, moving forward here. Uh, the western part of the state. That's where we see have the rain coming in from Coleman, Jasper, Tuscaloosa area there, back toward Hamilton. A few other showers elsewhere. Temperatures though kind of cool in the 50s. Now we'll stay in the 50s for the better part of the day till later this afternoon as some warmer air. Comes in, but as we begin our day there at 55 degrees, you can see some of the rain coming on in uh, from Hamilton, Sullivan area there, reform back toward Gordo, Carrollton, Aliceville area, Tuscaloosa, Jasper, Coleman. We are seeing a little more some downpours there coming on into parts there not too far away here from uh, again Pickens County. So we do have some of the wetter conditions uh, continuing to fall for you at this hour here. And as we go forward, we're going to continue looking at those uh, conditions. Uh, and looking at some downpours here mainly for you right now. Let's go ahead and put this in motion. And the bulk of this rain you're looking at uh, is going to continue kind of working its way. Through through the region, and as it does, uh, the bulk of it is going to stay here over the western part of the area, coming out of Mississippi. We have some severe weather breaking out there. But back closer to home, though, we are talking about uh, still some showers, kind of working the way through the region, and kind of put this also in motion for you here. And you can see most of that rain not moving too much, it's not moving to the east. And that's going to be the cause for concern for potential flooding out there later today. We're seeing a couple downpours in Shelby County here, heading through parts there of St. Clair County toward Etowah County now, and we'll continue looking at this wet weather. All of this fairly light rain now. But the severe weather threat back to our west and south there across South Mississippi and, and Louisiana, that's where tornado watches are in effect. As this warm front nudges way northward, that's where the better instability is. But I think locally here, it's going to stay far enough to the south where the orange is. That's a level three out of five there, enhanced risk. We do have a slight risk from Tuscaloosa to Brent area and then a level one marginal risk for the rest of the area here. So it's not a zero chance for severe weather, it's just the better chance for tornadoes will be farther enough to the south of us, which is good news for us. Regardless, you need to be weather aware throughout the day. Today, we are talking about some strong winds, heavy rain, and flash flooding. I think we the biggest issue for us across central Alabama. So, if you're in a flood prone area, be aware of that. And again, it can't rely on a tornado or two, mainly south of Interstate 20 for this afternoon. Now, you see here across the northwestern part of the state, flash flooding embedded storms now through 9, 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. here over the western part of the state, flash flooding potential, and yes, some strong storms. Rest of us kind of there from 9 a.m. till midnight tonight, flash flooding with embedded storms. Better chance Shelby, Chilton, and also Coosa counties, though, for maybe some. Severe weather starting to move into your area later today. The more intense rain really starts to arrive later this afternoon in the evening hours here in Birmingham, and we are looking at rain totals three to five inches to the west, two to four for the rest of us. Chance of flush flooding higher the farther off to the south and west you go, and that's why we do have that flood watch in effect. So, future cast will basically show that we're going to be dealing with some drier conditions initially here, but storms will continue to build on in as we get to three o'clock, heading through dinner time tonight. Temperatures will be in the 60s there, and this is where we can see again that flush flooding concerning overnight after it's dark. Dark, and then the storm's kind of clearing by midnight. Tomorrow morning, temperatures fall down into the 40s, and we'll start to see that sunshine returning as well, too. So be weather aware all day today and get ready for the cold weather to return this weekend. And potentially, even colder weather arrives by Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. All right, thank you.